3. Find the complementary angles for each of the following. Complementary angles mean that when you add the two angles, so if you have A and B, so complementary angles, when you add A plus B, you get 90 degree. Or, if in terms of radian, we know that 1, 90 degree is equal to pi over 2 radian. So, that means A plus B is equal to pi over 2 Radian is something like that. So here, complementary of the following. So we know that 54 plus, so we just put theta is supposed to be 90 degree or theta is equal to 90 degree minus 54 degree. So you are supposed to get 36 degree. So for B, So here same, so this one plus theta supposed to get 90 degree, so theta is equal to 90 degree minus this angle, 5 degree, 17 minute, 14 second. So actually you can just put it, use your calculator. So this one you put the symbol, this symbol and then you put the symbol and then you put this symbol. So the symbol... Uh, this is above ENG, so you have ENG button here, you see here ENG button. So, above the ENG button, you have this brown and comma, comma, comma symbol. So, you just keep on pressing this. So, 5 and then you press this one. And then 17, you press this one. And then 14, you press again. So, then you get this angle. So, 90 minus this one, just using your calculator, you are going to get. So, your calculator will give you 84.71. 3 or you can just press back this button so you see the up here you just press back the button and you will get 84 42 46 okay and then c pi over 5 radian so we know this is radian so is it uh, the radian 90 degrees pi over 2 so we know that pi we know that this one Plus theta is supposed to get pi over 2 or you can directly put pi over 2 minus pi over 5. So here you will get. So you just make the denominator equal or you can just directly use your calculator. So this one if you make over 10. So this one is times 5 over 5 times 2 over 2. So here you get 5 pi over 10 because 5 times pi minus 2 pi over 10. So here you get 3 pi over 10. Or you can just directly uh, key in inside your calculator. 1 over 2 minus 1 over 5. You will get 3 over 10. And then you just put your pi. So this one is 3 pi over 10.